Hello and welcome. This is the first out of two videos showing you how to model a TTS beam looking like the one shown here. The TTS beam will be created using a swept blend, created based on two 2D profiles, one for the middle section here and one for the uh, profile at the end. Those two profile uh, I'll show you how to draw right away and then in the second video you can see how we are using them to create the swept blends. <coughs> My first step will be to go to um, create a new family based on the family template called metric profile. I'll open it. I'll notice the two reference planes already set up and before starting drawing I'll just insert an image of the TTS profile given by the producer Spencom. For my project I will model the one uh, called TTS 90 and I would like it to span 30 meters in total and I would like the slope on the front plate to be 1 to 40. On this drawing I notice uh, that there are modular measurements uh, but I would actually like to model mine uh, as the component measurements. So I'll use these information here. I will actually try to uh, use the slopes indicated here 1 to 25, the 1 to 10 as you see here and also uh, the uh, cutoff here at the end on uh, 20 to 20. And also the two fillets that you see here uh, with a radius on 10 millimeters and the one on 50 millimeters here. The first thing I'll do is I'll draw a few reference plane. Uh, the first one will be uh, 600. I can change that later actually. Um, and the end of the profile here and then one for um, the top plate. So that means that the distance here should be 900 like this. Distance here should be 600 and the distance here should be uh, 597 like this. And I'll just unpin this one and extend it a little bit. Now I could start uh, drawing And I'll do that by going to create and say lines and then I'll draw the top of the uh, plate here. I know it goes down 50 and um, then it goes uh, this direction. I'll just end it here. Down here I also see that there's some symmetry around this axis so I will um, again draw a line here and it goes 50 out and then it has a slope on 1 to 25 so that means that if I go up uh, 250 then it goes out 10 whoops then it goes out 10 like this so that's actually the angle of it that I just created here uh, with simple lines. This one of course should be extended up here so I use the trim extend tool like this and furthermore um, I would like to make the roundings here and down here and uh, those of you who are familiar with AutoCAD uh, miss some kind of a fillet here but the fillet is actually uh, placed here and you click it and then you click the two lines that you like to fill it and then you type in the, um, the radius and in this case it was 50 and the same thing we could do down here create line fill it this line this line and then we might need to type in 10 like this and for some reason I did it on the wrong side so this is better. The only thing missing now 
is some mirroring and also uh, the slope up here on 1 to 10 and um, the facet or, um, or the um, small cutoff up here. So again I'll just make a small helping line down here 100 and out 10 and backwards delete delete this one could be delete as well I could use my trim tool uh, here and here that didn't work something like this and then I could cut it off 20 and let's see maybe a way to do that could be by uh, creating a circle like this 20 and um, joining these two points let's see if I zoom in a little bit like this delete this move this or, or trim it like this now we could mirror first of all these ones around this axis and afterwards we could mirror all of it around this axis and then we might want to join those two and now we more or less have a complete uh, profile like this one delete this one and then I will go to save as family and I'll name it TTS middle profile like this the next profile uh, will be the end profile and as I mentioned earlier um, my TTS is spanning 30 meters uh, that means that from the middle profile to the end profile there will be 15 meters and I also mentioned that there will be a slope on 1 to 40 so I'll actually use this one to drawing to uh, create the end profile as well first of all I'll make a line that slopes 1 to 40 so I'll draw 40 meters out and one meter down like this I'll connect them like this and then I will say I know that from this point and 15 meters out um, that's will be the new height of my profile so I will create a reference plane like this I will dimension it 15 meters like this and actually the cutting point here will be um, the new height so let's see if I can get this intersection point here and also a measurement of um, of how high the new profile or um, at least uh, how much lower it will be and uh, the math tells me that it's uh, 375 so I could extend this one like this we have extended this line and now we are able to select these ones and move them down the 375 to this line and we notice that the it nicely joins and keeps the dimension. Now we can save this profile, save as family, and we'll call this TTL, sorry, TTS end profile. Save it, and now we are ready to um, use these two profiles in video two. Okay, bye for now. Thank you for listening and uh, see you 
in the second video about the creation of a TTS beam.